Greetings, programs. This is Wretch. Welcome back to Sherlock Holmes, Chapter 1. And in the last episode, guys, Holmes began following the trail of a siren killer. But not the mythical creature that is being the rumored reason for the deaths of all these sailors, but a femme fatale who's been poisoning them. So we are here in the Drinking Dutchman. We are undercover, as you can see. And um, we are trying to figure out who is actually behind this. But we got word of another dead sailor, which puts the death count that we know of to three. And um, apparently John is challenging us to find this out. So the dead sailor is found in the alley behind the giant Sparrow Club on Queen Street near the intersection with Gloria Lane in Scaladio. So let's go ahead and head out. We're going to have to return here to the bar and uh, check one of the rooms. But let's go ahead and help John out first. Now, have we actually found this club already? Doesn't, doesn't look like it on the map. Gloria Lane and Queen Street. Where are you at? Gloria Lane and Queen Street. Actually, this may be an area that we have not gone to before. Okay, there's Queen Street. Where's Gloria Lane? Wait, we may... There it is. Okay, so we have been here before. We will fast travel to City Hall. It was hidden behind the Scaladio letters. So let's go. I believe this is the right way. Hey. It said it was an alleyway. So probably this way. Nice balcony. Aha. Ugh, this place stinks of urine and cheap alcohol. Well, it's right behind well, the bar. Well, if it ain't Mr. Smarty Boots. Guess what? You were right about the poisoning, but this time I'm ahead of the game. We've got another homicide on our hands. Same method, same everything. See for yourself. Surprised he didn't mention anything about Sherlock's dress. Alright. Well, let's go ahead and pin this. And take a look at the recently deceased. I mean, we've got wine bottles, we've got cigarettes here. Ooh, this one actually had a brick bashed. Sharp bloody rock stuck deep in the mud. The officer must have rolled the body over. Thanks, officer. Appreciate that. He suffered a head wound. There's caked blood in his hair underneath all the mud. Well, that's already a different means of death. Wish we could check the uh, lips for poison. Like they did in Study in Scarlet. Looks like he slipped. Uh huh. Well, that could be because of the uh, because of the poison. There's one more thing. Hmm. Different. Uh... An empty bottle of rum. There'd be no sirens. <laughs> no this sirens here. Excellent. Oh, he just slipped and cracked his head. Poor guy. After all this, I assume we're going to meet a werewolf next. After our uh, run-in with the vampire? Yeah, probably. What did I tell you? We've a killer on the loose. I knew it. That may be true, but this here is very clearly an accident. The victim slipped and hit his head on a rock. I would have thought it obvious. Oh, you've got to be kidding me. I thought I had all this sewn up. But you just had to come along and make me look like an idiot. I hope you're happy now, genius. Just move along. So it was a curse after all. Huzzah! A curse of clumsiness. 
I hope it's not contagious. <laughs> oh, curse correction achievement unlocked. Cool. Okay, well now that that is done, we'll head back here to the Dutchman. The drinking Dutchman, not the flying Dutchman. Don't want to have one of those part of the crew, part of the ship situations, especially since Holmes dressed as a sailor. Good piano playing. Alright. Guilt ridden mariner. Now we have the key here. Aha. I don't know if it's best to keep on being dressed as a sailor, but. Oh, we can check all the rooms. Oh, it smells of stale cigarettes and damp bed sheets. Not exactly the best place to stay in town. Well, at least that's all he can smell. I bet that's where we need to go, but... Actually, that could be it. Is that just a... Blue paint. Hmm. Okay. Oh, the smell alone makes me feel groggy. Okay, he is asleep. We will leave him asleep for right now and examine all the things. The photo of the cursed crew. Here's Thorn, and right next to him, our first drowning victim. Crew of HMS Achilles, Cordona, 1879. So they... something happened to this crew that this woman's wanting to kill all of them for. So it's not just a random sailor situation. It's focused. It's targeted. The same as we saw earlier. She's pretty free with her kisses. Perhaps too much for her own good. My dear Harry, you probably don't remember me, but I remember you. How could I ever forget our shared night of passion? Now that you've returned to Cordona, why don't you visit me at the Garden of Delights? You won't regret it, I promise. And don't you worry about the money. You were my very special client. Thinking of you, Elisa. <sighs> Now we walk into a trap, guns blazing. The game is afoot, Sherry boy. Well said. I think I'll borrow that line from you, old chum. <laughs> is that where that comes from? I like it. Oof, he's really gone on a binge. Alright. Anything else to see? Scottish sailor, friendly and dead drunk. Photograph of Harry Thorne. Oh, are we going to have to disguise ourselves? Sailor's uniform, sailor's hat, lush beard. Hmm. Alrighty. Well, let's have a chat with the man. He's out cold. No use trying to wake him. Oh, never mind. All evidence collected. So, what do we need to do here? We actually can't see the man's hat. It's got a question mark near it. Um... Hmm. That's kind of suspect to me. Can we talk to the barman again? Take care, lad. Alrighty, never mind. Wait, wait, wait. No? 
Let's go ahead and pin that. I think we may have to go... I don't think I have that facial hair. We'll have to head to the uh, store. We've got the market there, which is close by. I always... If, if I have to do something with the market, I like going over here, the observation point, because the store is, like, right there. This makes life a whole lot easier. See. Don't pass by. Welcome. Welcome. Let's pick something that suits you. Okay, office casual? No. Um I mean we got the sailor's uniform. Woman's fez. There we go. The Shenandoah beard. Keep your chin away from prying eyes. A good choice. A good choice indeed. Do we have anything, like, variant? Yeah, we just have the sailor cap. I think that might actually work out. Okay. Don't miss out on my unique clothes. I guess that'll work. I hope that's not a curve, though. Hmm. Um, Garden of Delights. Where are the Where's the Garden of Delights at? Is that something we have to talk to people about? I bet you that the folks near the bar would know, or the sailors would. And since we'll be in the proper attire. Uh, not you. You. Come on. Are you able to help me? Ah, I know this. Yeah, let me help you. New location. Garden of Delights. Oh, right down the street. How about that? See what trouble. Does Ooh. this poster truly claim that Cordona has a ghost? Boy, you ran into another case. Unholy howls keeping you inside at night. Luigi can help. All ghosts gone. Meet on Southern Pier of the Silverton Port. Donations quickly accepted. This town loves the supernatural, but all I see is another scam to disprove. The world shrivels under a skeptic's eye. That's why you're so sullen, Sherry. You leave no room for delight in the magical. I delight in making the unknown known. Let us begin by asking someone about the poster and then pay this Luigi a visit to the port. Well, John, we're not dealing with werewolves, but ghosts? Maybe we can get credit for that. But first things first. Near the train yards, this place is. And you guys have guns. Why do you have guns? Is this familiar to you? I'd help you if I could, but I know nothing. Okay. Oh. Oh, well, there you go. The red light district. Did not know the game had this. Hi, Roxanne. Can you satisfy my curiosity? No, honey, I've heard nothing. All right. Um, the southernmost part of Grange Street in Silverton is what the locals call the Garden of Delights. It's notorious for its prostitutes under the wing of Madame Pauline. So I guess we just talk to all of them, maybe? Can I ask you a question? Sorry. I know nothing about it. But I can please you in another way. <laughs> all right. 
I'm sure Sherlock is all about that life. So is there one that sticks out from all the other? Oh, hi there. Good to see you. Hello, ma'am. So we got some locals walking through here as well. Too bad I have to look after you, Sherry. Otherwise, I might investigate a few of those ladies. <laughs> I'm thinking we may need to talk to her. Come on over, lovey. There we go. Don't be shy. I can see you're off for some fun. Madame Pauline will see you right. Girls, boys, a bit of both. Whatever tickles your pickle, darling. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I don't. I never knew I needed to uh, hear that phrase in that accent. Ooh, provide evidence. Ooh. What's that got to do with me? I'm looking for the girl who wrote this letter. Perhaps you know who she might be. Let me see. No, I don't know, Lovey. I have a Lizzie here, but I doubt she can even spell her own name. And what's all this nonsense about a special client? This is a business we're running here, not a charity. Interesting. So she may be undercover by going undercovers. What's that got to do with me? What's that got to do with me? Cannot help you with this, Lovey. I don't see what you're getting at. Cannot help you with this, Lovey. Uh-huh. Cannot help you with this, Lovey. What's that got to do with me? I'm looking for a specific girl. This is her shawl. Do you have any idea where she might be? Ah, I know who you mean. It's the goody two shoes down the street. She's not one of mine, though. She's not even a working girl, if I say so myself. Trust me, Lovey. We'll give you a much better time. I don't doubt it, Mom, but I have to see her first. Thanks for your help. I like how she was popped out and the red light wasn't even touching her. Okay. Recently seen down the street. Yeah, I think we should interrogate some of them. Well, hell, all of them. <laughs> John's just trying his best. So we need to find one who... I guess looks fairly conservative with her dress. I knew you'd come. It's been so long, but oh, you've changed cool. a bit. The hat worked. I don't suppose you remember me, do you? You must be Eloise, yes? I got your letter. Wonderful. No point beating around the bush, then. I've missed you, love. I wonder if you still have your prowess. Why don't we go to my place for some wine and something extra? Um, is there anything else we have to do? No, I think we're... How could I refuse such an offer from a pretty girl like you? Let's go right now. Wonderful. Follow me. It's not far from here. Here we are. Make yourself comfortable, love. There's the siren. There's wine on the table. You should have some. Loosen you up. Bring out your naughty side. What will you drink with me? Uh, absolutely. I'll join you in a minute. I just need to powder my nose. All right, then. I'll be waiting for you, pet. Did you just call her pet? Seriously, boy, you are truly hopeless, Sherlock. <laughs> okay. Um, definitely need a look at that. The bottle was open and the cork replaced. Uh-huh. Siren Song. She is consistent. I'll give her that. And that will be to her undoing. A fresh lick of paint, some warm touches, and anyone could call this place a home. Okay, what else? What else we got? go into any of the other rooms oh lord yes we can hey if you want to keep this stupid act up you better pour out the wine and quick yeah is there a sink I don't think there was a sink hurry up she'll be out any second 
I'm trying, John. Don't be that guy. The beloved child of a rich family. HMS Achilles, Friday, 5 p.m. She prepared for their arrival. Yeah, but what's the reason? My dear Elisa, with this I am sending you the money that I promised in my last letter. Your father may still blame you, but I don't, darling. I know that none of it was your fault. He won't listen to me, but I'm sure he misses you too. I beg you, return home. Until then, you're in my thoughts and prayers. Your loving mother, Rachel Esposto. What well, was not her fault? Come on, hurry up. Okay, we got a diary. This lip rouge looks good on her. Just saying. Ah, she's smoking citrus flavored cigarettes. The dots connect. Mm hmm. White powder with a bitter almond like odor. These are no smelling salts. It's cyanide. Okay, what is this? Another one is dead. Today, as I watched the ripples around him, I should have felt relief. Yet I felt nothing. Nothing but my own pain. If those memories could fade away, like those ripples. I wish I could forget that dirty alley. That fear and helplessness. That feeling of their hands all over my body. I can't wash it away. Not even by killing them. But there's only one left. It's too late to stop. Oh, here she comes. She gonna... Sorry for making you wait, sweetie. I hope the wine has kept you good company. Oh. Should we stay undercover? I don't know. Oh, yes. I needed to wet my whistle real bad. But the bottle is full. You didn't even take a sip. Come on, drink it. I insist. I have to decline. I believe the contents may be detrimental to my health. Wait, wait, wait what's happening? It's time I drop my act. This beard is false. I'm not Harry Thorne. Oh, I see. You're from the police then, yes? Here to question me? There's no need. My name is Sherlock Holmes. I know that you killed Thorne's crewmates, and I know why. Well, Mr. Holmes, you can save your breath. I won't deny a thing. But please, stop tormenting me with this farce. Do what you must. Oh. Wow, okay, we're getting right to it. Well, guys, I think this is another case of justifiable homicide, in my opinion, because, you know, the courts weren't going to do anything to some sailors. And, um, as despite how premeditated it is, I don't think I'm going to do anything. I will keep it a secret, but you do have to stop. How can I stop now after all I've done? I thought it would bring me solace. Stupid. It is too late. You cannot undo what you've done. That much is true, but it's not too late to move on. It's never too late. You're right. You must be right. I knew it all along. I just didn't have it in me to admit it. I'm glad that you do now. And here's your shawl. Try not to lose it again. Oh. <laughs> Human contact. Thank you, Mr. Holmes. Thank you so much. Oh god, her eyes. Okay, at least the lipstick's not poisoned. Those eyes are terrifying. Oh, got a thumbs up for John. Okay, let's see. Got the ghost hunter. I was on Sherlock's side. This was a mature choice. Especially in this gray area, it can be hard to tell what right from wrong. No. No, not, not, I don't think that was a gray area. Whatsoever. We got the ghost hunter poster. Tell you what, I did not know that case even existed, so that definitely needs to be next up on the docket. Um, shall we go and check the news first? Yeah, let's go ahead and see if there's any word about this in the Cordona Chronicle. And we can probably get out of the sailor costume. 
But maybe Sherlock likes the beard, I don't know. Extra, extra. Danger in the deep. Officer Ackley in charge of investigating Sailor's death. Mentioned a vengeful fish woman in his interview. Interested in some Cordona news? You had me at fish woman. Check the front page. You won't regret it. Danger in the deep. All right, well, this is Cordona, not Innsmouth. Consequences. The drowning of three seamen has struck fear into the hearts of all those that live near the water, with whispers of a mermaid's curse traveling quickly across Cordona. Authorities have declared the sailors' deaths to be accidents, but this has done little to quell worries about who the mermaid may strike next. Officer Ackley of the Cordona police was dismissive, saying, you don't need a vengeful fish woman to drown in a puddle if you are off and off. <laughs> we advise citizens to limit their drinking and always travel home with a companion. I feel that her uh, safety is assured. Chance of discovery, very low. Alright, so let's do... Now let's go classic for a little bit. That beard. It, it's fine with the sailor outfit, but it clashes with everything else. There we are. Ah, natural. So, ghost hunting, eh? Uh, southern Pier of the Silverton Port. So, we do we have to dress up like a sailor, I guess? Well, no, not necessarily. The southern part of Silverton Port. Oh. Okay, probably over here then. As the music mysteriously just ended there. Going the right way? Nope. Aha! Find a dock. Oh, God. Sir, are you okay? Oh. Oh, oh dear. Do we need to get you to a doctor? That, That is a lot of puke, sir. An exponentially large amount of puke, sir. Your stomach must be a TARDIS. <laughs> Sherlock is perfect. Okay, well, we'll just go ahead and leave you to it. Sailors? I don't know who exactly we would need to talk to. Waits for clients on the southern pier of the Silverton Port. Um. Oh! Okay, gotcha. We actually went the wrong way, but I'm glad that we did, because otherwise we wouldn't have met that guy. I'm wondering if we can find a guy who's, like, doing the peeing animation. He just keeps on going, like Austin Powers. Oh, we got a nice market here. Ah, the meeting place, and looks like something is afoot here. Okay, well, I'll tell you what, guys, this seems like a perfect place to go ahead and end the episode, and when we get back, we'll figure out what's happened with this ghost hunter. Seems a very similar situation to um, our kid magician who had, like, some incredible perception, but I think this one may be a little bit more sinister. But I hope you guys have enjoyed it. If you liked the video, please leave a like down below. Subscribe to the channel, leave a comment, that'd be a big help. And we'll see you next time. Later days, everyone.